Number one, impact hit. Go to your effects library, go to open effects and search for camera shake. Drag the camera shake effect onto your clip. Go to a point in time before an impact happens. Set a keyframe on motion scale and speed scale. Go forward just a few frames right before when the impact's happening. Set a keyframe once again. Go forward a few frames to where the impact's happening. Turn up the motion scale and the speed scale. Go forward just a few frames to right after the impact was happening. Drag down the motion scale and the speed scale. Number two, strobe effect. Go to your effects library, go to open effects and search for flicker edition. Drag the flicker edition effect onto your clip, then go to your inspector and adjust the range, the speed and the smoothness to your likings. Number three, scan lines effect. Go to your effects library, go to open effects and search for scan lines. Drag the scan lines effect onto your clip, go to the first frame of your clip, set a keyframe on line frequency and line angle. Turn the line frequency up, then go to the end of the clip, turn the line frequency down and the line angle up. Number 4. Radial Blur Go to your effects library, go to open effects and search for radial blur. Drag the radial blur effect onto your clip, keyframe the strength and adjust the precision. Number 5. Ghosting. Go to your effects library, go to open effects, search for motion trails, drag the motion trails effect onto your clip, keyframe the trail length at zero, go forward just a few frames, increase the trail length, then go forward another few frames and then decrease the trail length. Number 6. Time glitch. Duplicate your clip, offset it by two frames, make a cut on both clips, go forward two frames, make another cut and repeat this step as often as you want to. Once finished, delete the end of the clip at the bottom, drag the top clip down and then start deleting every other clip starting from the bottom and top. Then drag the top clips down, delete the beginning of the top clip and then watch it back. Number 7. Edge Detect Duplicate your clip, go to your effects library, go to open effects and search for edge detect. Drag the edge detect effect onto the duplicated clip, then go to the inspector, go to effects, change the mode from RGB edges to grayscale edges, then come back to where it says video, change the composite mode to screen. Then what you want to do is set a keyframe on zoom and precision, move forward a couple frames, then increase the zoom and increase the position, then move forward another few frames, reset the zoom and the position. Number 8. Kaleidoscope. Go to your effects library, go to open effects and search for mirrors. Drag the mirrors effect onto your clip and you can leave it at this point or change the mirror placement from individual to kaleidoscope. Number 9. Aperture Diffraction. Go to your effects library, go to open effects, search for aperture diffraction and drag the effect onto your clip, then change some parameters and the color. Number 10. Editing tips. Combine multiple effects, don't overuse those effects, edit your effects to the beat of the music.